that responded through. back on May 1st after receiving a strange call from a very frightened family. Well, our report generated a global response and now piecing together the sequence of events has been kind of tricky in part. Why are y'all saying Cthulhu? What does it got to do with Cthulhu? Shut up. Because the primary witnesses have been almost as elusive as the beings they say they encountered. Chief Investigator George Knapp. George Knapp. Now, human witnesses detailed the alleged alien encounter in Las is Vegas. Is as perplexed as the rest of Ain't us. Ain't that where Area 51 at? You know, this is not our first UFO rodeo. We first heard about the incident in early May via the Metro Police grapevine. The incident has a lot in common with other bizarre cases from around the world. An alleged crash. Show me! Strange beings and bits and pieces that don't make sense. But the police took this seriously and so do we. Just before midnight on April 30th, sky watchers across several western states saw a bright fire. Yo, scientists, what's the explanation for this? They, these science niggas always have a fucking answer. Yo, that is the rays of the moon on every three months. They, the, there's a ray, there's a 60% chance that a ray of the, the orbit of the lints might have a, they always, these them science niggas always have an answer for some shit. What is it? What's that? What is that? The fuck is that? Or midnight on April 30th, sky watchers across meteorite. Oh, a comet. Several western states saw a bright fireball streak through the heavens. A police officer working in the Northwest Valley caught a glimpse of the colorful object on his body cam. At nearly the same time, a ring camera in the area recorded a strange noise and what sounds like a crash. One fact. Which one in the, which one are you watching niggas edited that shit? I know y'all demons. What what is that? What is that CGI? Family living in a ranch style home. That is that not like uh, uh, it could have been a gunshot, Chicago or some shit. You know? Home had a much closer view of the object. Two brothers and their father were working on a vehicle in their yard when they caught a glimpse of a sparkly object as it came crashing down, then were hit by what, what they describe crash? as a shock wave. One of the witnesses, a young man named Angel, has stated when the brothers looked into the yard where the object landed, that spot was obscured and blurry, as if by unknown form of camouflage. What they saw next prompted a frantic call to 911. So there's two people or two subjects that are in your backyard? Correct, and they're very large. They're like eight. He niggas landed a solo Illuminati backyard, bro. What do you mean? Two, two, two niggas just said, if you don't go out there with your fucking phone camera, like, who the fuck are you, nigga? If you don't record them niggas, record the beings! Record them! I'm on IG Live with it, like, oh, okay, who the fuck is that? What the hell just landed in my shit? The fuck? Eight foot, nine feet, ten foot. I don't know. They're, they look like they look like aliens to us. Big eyes. They have big eyes. Okay. Like, like I can't explain it. And big eye mouth. They're shiny eyes and. Record it. And they're not human. They're hundred percent. They're not human. Eight News Now investigators have spoken with family members multiple times in the past four weeks. There better be but recording. Each of the three times we accepted their invitation to do an interview, they didn't answer the door or their phone. These are some of the claims they've made in other public forums. Multiple family members backed up the story in an initial police report we obtained. Angel says they heard the patter of multiple feet in the yard. They later heard footsteps on their roof. They saw one of the eight-foot-tall creatures climb behind the controls of a... Large front loader. No troll shit. I have the video that the family recorded and I enhanced it by increasing the contrast and other settings and you can actually see the extraterrestrial opening its mouth. I made a TikTok showing it. Load! I think I found the extraterrestrial from the Vegas clip. Watch till end. I know. I think I found the extraterrestrial from the Vegas clip. Watch till end. I noticed it suddenly moving, so I adjusted the brightness, contrast, etc., and slowly went over the area. Maybe it's just pridolia. 
I'm still a bit skeptical. Minus 100 shadow. That looks like a fucking cow. What is that? What am I looking at? 25 contrast. Minus 48 brightness. 100 black point. 100 sharpness and definition. So you mean to tell me y'all niggas record everything from lizards on the ground, dogs running across the street, little shit. You see it. A nine foot, ten foot Kevin Durant looking ass alien in your backyard. You tell me you don't plug your fucking camera, bitch boy. Those MFS are in the gulag fighting for their life are and they done got took. Stored in the yard as if trying to engage it. He got a good look at one of the creatures, he said, a greenish-grayish being with large eyes and long legs. He says he could hear its deep breaths, and when he locked eyes, he was, in essence, frozen in place, couldn't move. In the middle of the yard, where the object had crashed, then vanished, a circular impression was left in the soil. Okay, where is this on your property? Metro sources say the police uh, dispatcher sure. initially wondered whether to send a crisis intervention team to help the troubled witness, but then took the incident seriously. Two officers arrived 38 minutes after the call, and by then had heard from other officers. They proceeded cautiously and managed some nervous laughs. I ain't dealing with that. <laughs> That's how do editor try to... You know what I'm saying? They shit. proceeded cautiously and managed okay, some no nervous laughs. If you want to do something, you want to do something at all, do it right. A few days later, the family says two Metro sergeants returned to the scene to ask follow-up questions. The family says they also saw men in suits and sunglasses driving in a car with government plates cruising slowly past the house in the. Watch TikTok clips analyzing it. Fuck this YouTube. Following days, Nellis and Creech have denied any interest or involvement with the incident. Metro has indicated they believe the family that something crashed in their yard. But what? Someone else has access to it. Now, you mentioned, George, in that piece that, you know, they were frozen because so many people have been critical of, like, why didn't get their phone out? Why didn't they shoot the video? Do we know if there's even any video of this incident? Uh, uh, yes and no. So there's a surveillance camera in the backyard. The property owner keeps that because he's like got a lot of expensive equipment there. What we were told is that at the moment this thing comes down and crash, this camera went out and it was out mm. for a couple of minutes. When it came back on, the object was gone, but the circle was there. We've been told by Angel in multiple phone conversations that he shot video ah. of the creatures we haven't seen it and we don't know anybody else who's seen it yet so maybe he'll release it at some point it's getting Chad, do you want aliens to be real, or uh, uh, like, do you want aliens to know where, like, 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 you want, do you want this shit to be real? Yes or no? Loki, it's kind of scary. Aliens finding out about us before we find out about them, and they could get to us. Like, that's kind of alien nussy. That's kind, that's kind of scary, nigga. Them pulling up on us, and we don't know how to get to them or who they are, where they came from, bro. Alien God. I'm letting. <laughs> okay. Um. Hold on, real quick, chat. What is this? Is it Avatar game? 